Today I'm making dinner for my family, so we're making a meal together. This delicious seafood okra with eba. So if you want to see how I make it, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button so that I can make more of these videos. This video is cook along style. So first of all, I didn't lay out all the ingredients, but what I'm doing is I'm seasoning my turkey first. I have several okra soup recipes that you can check out, but I just wanted to show you guys how I quickly made this soup in less than 30 minutes. So first of all, I'm boiling the turkey and I've seasoned it with chicken seasoning, onion, ginger powder, garlic powder and some pepper and I'm just going to allow it boil till it softens. While that is cooking, I'm going to prep my vegetables. My go-to vegetables when it comes to okra soup is ugu and uziza leaves. You guys know my combination. So this has been washed already. I'm just going to pluck it and cut it into little bits. On our food timetable, it says okra soup for today, so I had already bought my okra, bought my vegetables, and that's why I'm filming impromptu today. I wasn't supposed to film, but I was like, I might as well show you guys how I just put a meal together for my family. I have a six-month planner if you're interested in having a food timetable, because it keeps me organized, you guys. If I don't have this food timetable, I will be thinking about what to cook all the time, and that is is so much stress but when you have a full time table you already know what you're going to have on Wednesday you buy the ingredients ahead of time and you're not rushing when it is time to cook you already even prep some things let's say you can prep your meats over the weekends and then during the week you just put everything together so if you need a copy of my full time table download through the link in the description box and I also have a cookbook that you can download it has amazing recipes as well Having this processor really speeds up the process of chopping okra. I can make the okra as chopped as I like. I like my okra to be like a little bit big, not smooth. I don't like smooth okra and I don't like like really big chunky okra. This is the texture that I like and the processor just makes it easier. I feel like to just be a better cook or to make cooking easier, you should have gadgets and tools to help you and this is one of those tools that I really appreciate in my kitchen. While I'm waiting for the turkey to get ready, I'm going to make a bar. I feel like I just prefer to stay in the kitchen and cook the meal at once than to, you know, you'll be boiling meat, you can't chill in the parlor, come back. <laughs> continue cooking no let's make everything at once so i'm just making my eba i'm using hot water and gari this is yellow gari and i like yellow gari because it is very starchy and this is how i make it i put the hot water in the bowl and i spread the gari and then i cover it and allow to sit While the gari is getting steamed, I'm going to put my pomo. This is cow skin. I'm going to cook it in this little cute pot that I just got lately. I like it so much. I think it's so pretty. I showed it in my last vlog. If you've not watched my last vlog, go and check it out. It was so much fun to put together. But anyways, we're going to boil this pomo. And while everything is cooking, we will come back to the eba. Because I allowed it to steam, it would be easy to make. Now I'm just going to turn everything together. People have different ways of making eba. I know some people that make their eba on the stove, like the cooker is on while they're making the eba. So let me know what kind of eba maker are you? Do you make yours in the bowl or do you make it on the stove? I like to serve my eba in a cling film. I've had this cling film for over a year and I use it every day and it has not run out. It is one of the best things I bought in this kitchen. I use it to store so many things. I use it to wrap my eba and swallows and I just use it for a lot of things. So you should always have a cling film in your kitchen.
I want to show you guys this part. How I know that my Eba was properly made is if I roll it around and none of it sticks to the bowl. Can you see how clean the bowl is after I've made my Eba? That is how I know I made really good Eba. And I'm just going to put that last portion and set everything aside and then we'll get back to the soup. I know I said we're making seafood okra but I really really wanted turkey in this soup <laughs> and I didn't want the turkey to be naked so I'm going to fry the turkey a bit. This is the only thing that will be different from the rest of the seafood going in the pot. This was me preferring to add turkey. If you're making authentic seafood okra you don't need to add turkey or meat because turkey or meat is not part of what you find in the ocean. <laughs> It's not a water element, so you don't need to add it, but this is a personal preference. To make the soup, I'm using the turkey stock, and then I'm going to add some chopped peppers. I'm also going to add some deboned kwanla fish. I always use kwanla fish for a lot of my recipes because of the flavor. Next, I'm going to add the pomo that I boiled earlier and then I have this red snapper fish that I'm using for this soup. It's not going to take long to cook and red snapper is so delicious, you guys. I'm adding a bit of uziza powder mixed with a bit of pepper soup spices. So this soup is going to be very, very fragrant and I want everything to sort of boil together. At this stage you can taste for seasoning. I didn't need to add seasoning, more seasoning because of the seasoning that was in the turkey already. Next I'm going to add some ground crayfish mixed with some pepper as well, yellow pepper. So yellow pepper gives it a different flavor. I'm going to add a bit of palm oil, you can skip this and then I'm going to bring back the turkey and allow everything to cook. I feel like I should change the name of this okra soup to combination soup. This is not 100% seafood because we have pomo. Is pomo? <laughs> is pomo part of seafood? No. So this turkey and pomo is what removes it from seafood. I had a bit of Titus fish in the fridge that smoked mackerel so I decided to add it so that <laughs> it does not waste. At this point, I'm going to take out the red snapper fish because it is cooked and I don't want it to disintegrate inside the soup. So once I've mixed the okra in, I will bring back the fish. So for now, just taking it out. Next, I have some calamari and shrimps and I've washed it, prepped it and I'm just going to add it to the soup. I also have some big prawns that I'm going to add to this soup and you guys, this was such a rich pot of soup <laughs> and they are just going to take like five minutes to cook for everything to come together and then we will add the okra. Now I've brought back the okra, I'm going to stir it in the pot. You can make your okra as thick as you like or as loose as you like. I also like to add a bit more pepper at this stage because of the color and then I'm going to add my vegetables immediately because I don't want the okra to be too cooked so I'm adding the ugu and I'm adding uziza. Mix everything together and the okra and vegetables should cook at the same time. Once I add the vegetables, I like to taste again for salt and seasoning because okra and vegetable can just swallow all the seasonings. So I need to make sure everything is okay. So I taste again. If it needs adjustment, you just add some more and then we bring back our fish to this pot. If I'm storing portions of this soup in my freezer, at this stage where it is like this and it is not properly cooked, I separate it and put it in the plate that I'm going to store it in. So that that way your okra is still crunchy by the next time you heat it up. So this is the time I separate everything for those that are going to storage in the freezer. 
I've dished it in the pot now and I'm just going to serve everybody from here. This is what my seafood okra <laughs> with, <laughs> with turkey, <laughs> this is what it looks like you guys and it was so so yummy and delicious with the prawns, calamari, the fish, the everything that went inside the soup. It is so so yummy. I hope you guys try out this combination. If you like this video, please please click the like button. It really lets me know what kind of videos you like. If you're also not subscribed, please click the subscribe button so that you get more recipes from me and not just recipes, you get more content. For those of you who are subscribed, I really appreciate your subscription. There's one more step you have to follow. You have to go to my channel and click the notification bell icon. What that does is every time I upload a video, you get notified and you come and watch. Sometimes I upload videos and you guys don't get notified and what is the point of making a video and my people don't come to watch it so please guys <laughs> turn on the bell notifications this is me just enjoying my food sitting down to enjoy my swallow <laughs> join me i hope i have inspired your meal today if you need more meal ideas don't forget to download my full timetable the link is in the description box and don't forget to also get a copy of my cookbook the link is in the description box as well thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye